everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. I'm out here in our garden today and I was gonna get some seeds planted because it is fall now, officially, it's exciting. So I was going to go ahead and plant some greens and I was gonna do my favorite greens first. So I have this, this is how much we love spinach is we get this huge package of spinach off of Amazon. So I'm gonna plant some giant noble spinach today and I'm gonna do it in one of our Big Bag Junior Smart Pots right here. And I already went ahead and got this, this bed prepared. I just went through and I cleared it out of all of the summer crops that we had in here. And then I went over to our compost pile and I grabbed, um, I grabbed a wheel, wheelbarrow of some compost and brought that over and added some into here and mixed it all up and now this bed is ready for some spinach so i am super excited to uh, hopefully have a lot of spinach really soon so spinach is one that is planted nine per square and we like to do square foot gardening whenever we're planting spinach especially when we're planting in the fall just because these plants will survive throughout the winter hopefully and make it through the spring so we want really healthy plants and we don't have to worry about coming through and thinning them down and all that. So we're gonna go ahead and use the seeding square, which makes doing square foot gardening so much easier. So whenever I come through, I'm just going to make holes for each of these circles right here for nine per square. And then after I do that, I will come through Drop a couple in each hole. And I'm gonna do that for each section of this Junior Smart Pot here. And we love these Smart Pots and, and the Seating Square too. Um, so much so, we actually put them in our online store. Um, so check that out at store.seedtospoon.net. We have this Big Bag Bed Junior available and it's actually really decently priced and uh, real affordable, especially if you are just getting started and you want to add some growing space. And then we also have the seating square available there too. So spinach is a cool season crop. We especially like to plant spinach in the fall because once they are established, they will survive through our winter here. And uh, we're in zone seven in Oklahoma, if anybody's interested about that. But spinach, once it's established here, it'll last through our winter. And then this spring, we'll have a lot of really healthy spinach plants and have a lot to harvest from then. So this spinach that we're planting now will be ready for our harvest in about two months or so. And then once it comes into the springtime, we'll probably do another round of spinach and plant it then. But these ones will be ready to harvest like right away in the beginning of spring. Whereas the ones we plant in spring, we'll have to wait and you know, another two months after we plant that before we can eat it. So one thing that I definitely want to make sure that I do is label this. So because I planted seeds here, I won't necessarily see them and we have a lot of garden spaces. So I wanna make sure that I remember that I planted in here and I don't double plant it. So I'm gonna go ahead and write spinach on this popsicle stick and put it in there. So that way I remember what I planted. So another great benefit of growing in the fall is that we don't have to deal with a lot of pests. Um, really the only pest that we have to worry about anyways with spinach is aphids, or are aphids. So, but those are easy, easily enough handled. Um, check out our app actually if you haven't seen the pest section in there. It'll walk you through all the organic ways that we handle those pests in the garden. So spinach is one of the healthiest things that you can eat. And it is actually one of the main reasons that we got into gardening in the first place because we loved eating spinach so much. We were buying it a lot from the store. And once we started growing it ourselves, we realized how much better it tastes also. And with that extra taste comes like extra nutrients, extra vitamins. So it's just super healthy. It's one of the best things that you can grow. So even if you don't like the taste of spinach, it's something that is super good and you can hide it super easy in a lot of foods. So we put it in like 
pasta sauce and smoothies, things like that. So it's kind of like adding your own vitamins into your food. So now that I have all of this spinach planted, I'm just gonna go through and give it a good soaking so that way the seeds will start to germinate here real soon and hopefully we'll see some little baby spinach plants coming up soon. Thank you so much for watching today and hanging out with us and the chickens. They are very loud in the background. There's some hawks flying overhead so the roosters are alerting everybody. <laughs> um, but thank you so much for hanging out with us today while we planted some spinach. I'll be planting a lot more of the cool season crops coming up really soon. So be paying attention to our YouTube channel. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe so that way you get notified whenever we post a new video. If you haven't already, make sure that you check out our free app from Seed to Spoon. It's available for download in the iOS and Android stores. So make sure you check that out. It'll help walk you through over 100 different fruits, vegetables, herbs, including spinach, and it'll show companion planting, pest solutions, all, all sorts of things. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.